The research that basically you and I are about to review is incredibly, incredibly promising in relationship to kidney damage. Now, the caveat being this is an animal model. Still just the same, it holds incredible promise. What we're looking primarily at, in this case, in reference to the outcome, is the outcome in relationship to diabetic nephropathy or diabetic related or diabetes related kidney damage. And what we're looking at is a particular substance it's often found in cruciferous vegetables known as phenethyl isothiocyanate. And its ability, at least in this animal model, to reverse some of the damage related to diabetes. So without further ado, let's get right into the research. Again, the caveat being we're going to go through the dosaging in reference to the animal model of this uh, phenethyl isothiocyanate. But at the same time, too, again, well, it may work for animals, may have a different outcome for humans. So it still has to be validated, but yet extremely promising. When I hear the word reverse, that's when my eyes light up. But to proceed as follows. Compound found in some vegetables may reduce diabetes-related kidney damage. New research conducted in rats, in an animal study, suggested a compound that gives some Cruciferous vegetables, their pungent taste could help to reverse, again I'm quoting, kidney problems associated with diabetes. For the new study, researchers assessed the effects of phenethyl isothiocyanate, otherwise commonly referred to as PEITC. We'll just call it phenethyl isothiocyanate. It's easier. In rats with diabetic nephropathy. The PEITC Phenethyl isothiocyanate is found in several types of vegetables, but most concentrated in watercress. Quoting, our study provides the first time evidence that phenethyl isothiocyanate might be an effective as a naturally occurring agent to reverse. Operative word there, reverse. Keep in mind, animal model. Serious kidney damage in people with diabetes, quoting the researchers. Quoting once again, our study introduces the mechanic, uh, mechanistic evidence of how phenethyl isothiocyanate might manage kidney injury associated with diabetes by targeting multiple interconnected pathways involved in diabetic nephropathy, including inflammation, glycation, and oxidative stress. Now, we are going to go towards the end of this public release and then into the abstract itself. But to proceed, previous studies have suggested also as well Sulforaphane. Now keep in mind, you could actually make this incredible sal salad with, well, I don't know how it would go, with watercress, broccoli, so on and so forth, that could be of huge potential in helping the health of the kidneys. A related compound in cruciferous vegetables also helps reduce diabetes-associated kidney damage. So there's two, two tools, two tools. Sulforaphane and, again, PIATC, uh, phenethyl isothiocyanate. So a combination together, maybe they're stronger. Again, strong correlation, but we have to see a causative relationship. But just the same, promising. The new study bolsters evidence that eating more vegetables containing these compounds could help people with diabetes to stave off kidney problems. The phenethyl isothiocyanate seems to manage one of the most serious and painful diabetic complications. Luckily, again, I'll go by the acronym PEITC, is naturally present in many dietary sources. Importantly, watercress, broccoli, turnips, and radish. So here you have, for example, broccoli. That could be very, very high as well. And basically, phenethyl isothiocyanate. As well as the sulforaphane. Uh, sulforif so you see that one-two punch there of that basically that food combination, which in this case may help, at least in the animal model did, reverse diabetes-related kidney damage. Now, as far as the other type of kidney damages and so on and so forth, I don't know. But as far as the outcome here, pretty cool. Now we're going to go into the abstract to see exactly how it did that in case someone wants to draw some other correlation and relationship to possibly helping other kidney uh, ailments. To proceed as follows. Dosaging. The PEITC was administered at 3, 10, and 30 milligrams per kilogram a day for eight weeks in the animal model. 
The reason that's important is because the benefits appear to be dose related, meaning the more, the better. To proceed, results, according, quoting, our results, the phenolethyl isothiocyanate administration improved renal function, restored oxidant, antioxidant balance, diminished TXNIP and LRP P3 and LRP3 dash dependent inflammation, and suppressed glycative stress in a dose dependent matter. Furthermore, results from the histological electron mic microscopy studies revealed preservation of renal structure by phenethyl isothiocyanate treatment, something which is found in certain elements such as watercress and broccoli, meaning you have this powerful, powerful dietary intervention, which at this point in time, hypothetically, appears to be extremely promising. Now, I'd like to see as far as human trials conducted to validate that information, but it gives people hope. And again, does it relate to other forms of kidney damage? We don't know. But in this case, as far as you see in the markers that it tend to reverse in relationship to diabetic-related kidney damage, it was just, what's the word we like to use? Astounding. Again, incredibly, incredibly promising. I'd like to have more of a full uh, study to basically link to you. However, though, we're going to have to link into the abstract itself. But again, something that gives people hope now as far as the dietary intervention, as far as, again, sulforaphane, but however, on the phenethyl isothiocyanate, PEITC. Wow, just incredible. So it doesn't have to be a one-way road. In this case, in the animal model, to be able to reverse some of the ailments associated with diabetic-related uh, uh, kidney damage is just incredible. And again, some innovative dietitian, nutritionist, can make an incredibly, incredibly beneficial dietary recommendation that could yield tremendous benefit to those individuals potentially suffering that particular ailment. Again, Ralph Church Channel signing off. Gratitude, thank you. And again, most gratitude to the researchers for all I do is just humbly reiterate the information that they published. But again, just the same, I enjoy getting it to you. I'll catch you next time. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.